596th day of Russian invasion straight from Ukraine. The situation at the front? Today we've received numerous updates from the direction of Bakhmut. In this region, Ukrainian forces managed to penetrate Russian defenses near the railway and initiated operations on the railway's opposite embankment. A recent video from the 5th Assault Brigade illustrates how they broke through Russian defenses utilizing tank offensives near Klishivka, employing the strategy of using smaller raid units for precise and dynamic operations. This assault comprised one tank, T-80, one armored combat vehicle, Swedish CV-90, and one armored carrier, American M113. The chosen pathway was cleared of mines on the same day after detecting them. All vehicles maintained strategic spacing to avoid simultaneous enemy artillery strikes. For landing support, the tank pivoted into the field, targeting two Russian treeline positions, while the other two vehicles offloaded two assault teams for these positions. The tank persistently shifted its position to disrupt ATGM team targeting and precise artillery shots. Post the successful deployment, while the armored vehicles retreated, the tank continued its barrage to shield their exit and to subdue adversary fire. This allowed the assault groups to reach enemy trenches. Once ground forces engaged, the tank pulled back. This strategy led to a successful advance into the woods north of Klishchivka. Regarding the zone east of Klishchivka, a distinct strategy seemed evident. Russian intel suggests that Ukrainian forces would pinpoint Russian defenses and methodically bombard them until obliteration. Following this, a Ukrainian squadron would occupy and immediately fortify the region. This tactic's deployment made sense, given reports of Russian reserve deployments and their continuous counter-assault waves aimed at driving the Ukrainians back to the railway. Regrettably for the Russians, these reinforcements were neutralized. Ukrainian troops disclosed an unprecedented amount of video evidence showcasing the annihilation of Russian resources and troops. From the publicly shared content in the past week alone, eight tanks, 14 artillery setups, two air defense rocket systems, 10 ammunition loaded trucks and troops, three armored units, three ammo storage sites, and three troop concentration zones were destroyed, totaling approximately 40 equipment units. Yet many attacks remained undisclosed, implying even greater equipment losses. Notably, the spokesperson for the Eastern Group of Forces confirmed the destruction of 20 artillery units in just the past day. This expansive artillery and drone offensive campaign was the collaborative effort of the 120th Reconnaissance and 28th Mechanized Brigades, 5th and 92nd Assault Brigades, 93rd Mechanized Brigade, and the 45th Artillery Brigade. It's clear that most strikes occurred a few km from the front line, especially near Opitin, Odradivka, Zaitsev, and Kodema, indicating main supply routes. Having effectively weakened the Russian troops and their attack potential, Ukrainian forces began progressive advances. Notable progress was made east of Andrivka, where, as previously shared, a Russian bunker was overtaken from two fronts and controlled. This facilitated the further widening of the bridgehead across the embankment, with an added 300-meter progress towards Odradivka, as confirmed by the Eastern Group of Forces spokesperson. Ukraine's renowned 3rd Assault Brigade shared footage of one such assault, during which they detained the lead of the Alga Volunteer Battalion from Russia's 72nd Motorized Rifle Brigade. In summation, Ukrainian forces have admirably navigated a formidable defensive line along the embankment, endured continuous counter-strikes, and inflicted unparalleled damage upon the Russians. The sheer volume of geolocated footage highlighting Russian equipment wreckage surpasses even the Bakhmut battle recordings, indicating tireless Ukrainian drone reconnaissance, ensuring close surveillance on potential Russian reinforcements.